Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a great day. Today we will be unboxing this gigantic tank. This is the Tiger One Figma Vehicle by Max Factory for Girls and Panzer, and I'm super excited about it. I've been eyeing up the Figma vehicles even though I don't have any of the Girls and Panzer Figmas. I honestly don't know if I want to get the Girls and Panzer Figmas, but that's a whole different story. This one went up for pre-order. Right before it came out, I saw it, and I was like, oh man, it was such a good deal if you pre-ordered it. And I went ahead, did my research, looked at the other tanks, saw that they went up in the aftermarket, and I was like, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and get this sucker. Let's get into this because there's probably another box inside this one. This is the box. Nice little Figma box. It shows on this side. You got Erica Maho. I'm making noises as if this is the heaviest thing ever. It's really not. <laughs> It's not even 20 pounds, like, if I had to guess, but it is awkward because it's so big. There you go, like, winging around like that. <laughs> I feel like this box would be good to put, like, other figure boxes in if you're a collector and you save boxes. Like, I feel like this is a nice size box to keep and put other things in to keep it safe. Another box. Oh, it's boxes galore. Oh, wow, there's, like, a lot of small little model kit-y things to do. <laughs> well, that's all good. I'm currently building uh, Pravda T34. Almost done, too. Uh, much smaller, <laughs> though. Much smaller than this. Ooh, okay, it's a little stuck in there still. Wow, this thing is massive. I mean, I knew it was going to be massive, but I don't even know how to do this. It's so big. That's that. Alright, so tape here. And I feel like I have like a little fortress going on here now. Alright, so I've got all the pieces. It looks like when you open it up that this is just one of the pieces to hold everything in place. It's not. Don't don't think it is. It's got all the pieces you need in it. So so there's two of these. You don't know what these are called like sheets of pieces and then we have some other bits here as well the directions seem pretty simple to follow i got my exacto knife so now that i have my box table set up here let's see what we got everything seems to be just clicking together doesn't look like you need glue i didn't hear click but that's in there. Looking more like a tank now. That's good. <laughs> and it looks like you actually do have to glue these pieces. So, yeah, I'll be doing that real quick. <laughs> Thank you. 
Alrighty, so here it is with all the pieces attached. I overall really like this. I chose not to put the decals on because I might want to paint this. Really easy to assemble, just follow the pictures, the directions, all that. There's a bunch of little hatches that open up, which look really cute. So we got motion here, motion here, and then you can take this off, you just turn it to the side. This is what the inside looks like. Ah, these ones won't work if you actually attach, like glue them, so. Anyways, looking in here real quick, so there's a lot of empty space and wires. Here is actually the on-off switch for it. So this is the battery compartment right here. You take this off, and then there is a screw right there. It takes six double A's. Put our batteries in. I really feel like the battery compartment is very well hidden on this, which I like quite a bit. And then I guess you just have a ton of empty space if you wanted to store stuff in there, you could. And... Oh, it goes backwards! I was not expecting that. Obviously my batteries are kind of dead. I'm actually really glad that these batteries are kind of dead because I have a feeling that he's gonna move a little bit quicker and I just <laughs> kind of don't need to chase him around the room. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some batteries that actually have juice in them so that way he can move a little bit faster. And I'm gonna go ahead and try him on some various surfaces outside to see how he goes. I think this, this thing looks so cool. It's really giant, kind of ridiculously giant, but I actually adore that about it. This is like really impressive to me. I really recommend this if you have the money for it. The thing that's the most annoying about this is the price tag with it, because this is not cheap. And understandably, the fact that it goes forwards, backwards, it's back battery operated, it is huge. It's Figma, so anything with Figma attached to it seems to be much more expensive than you think it should be. There are three tanks so far. The other two did go up in the aftermarket, but they were released a lot cheaper than this one is, because those were released years ago. 
pricing's a little bit different now. It feels like it's worth the price just because I don't know what else is out there that's like this. The biggest thing with it though to me is that it looks too clean. It's too clean, there's no shading or anything, and I wouldn't expect there to be. It's like a blank model kit when you get it. That is it for my Figma Tiger One unboxing and review. I hope you all enjoyed, and if you did, you did make it to the end of the video. I assume you must at least somewhat like me so go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more girls in panzer i right now i'm collecting a lot of girls in panzer but i also collect anything i feel like i hope you all have a wonderful day and i will see you all next time bye